Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We're back on uh, Corn Belt, and uh, it's getting dark on me. I want to do a couple of things before the uh, day is over, the farm day is over, and I want to check on some things that I've had a little bit of trouble with um, and that I've got more information on. First of all, let me run out to the oil tanker, and... If you remember in a previous episode, I said I was going to try to uh, grab the oil the first thing in the morning and then the last thing at night and to kind of keep up with it, the crude. So I'm going to try that and see how it works. I'm thinking that it's, ma uh, that it's pumping crude uh, up all day long. So that means it should pump crude all night long, wouldn't you think? So even though the night goes by pretty fast, because I have a mod on that makes that happen, um, I want to find out if it's puffing oil, or collecting oil, or whatever it does. All right, so we got 20,000 here. Head back down south. Now, I have been debating about this. I've got a mod that I've been using, and uh, somebody pointed it out to me, and I can't remember. It might be Joe Dokes has been sending me a lot of information on mods and things. It might have been Joe. Uh, let me stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I get this, but I'll show you here in a minute. It's completely cheaty, completely. But on a map this big, where if I have to drive down to get the rest of that oil, you're gonna watch me drive for about five minutes or 10 minutes. Now, the other way to do it is for me just to drive there and cut the driving out so that you don't see that part. Uh, but that's kind of tough because that means I've got to stop the recording, drive down there, start it back up again, uh, cut everything out if I don't do that. It's a lot of work. Now, what am I talking about? Well, here, let me get the oil here and I'll show you. All right, one more tank. And then we've got to go down south. All right, this mod is called TARDIS. Uh, kind of like Doctor Who can jump in time and space. That's what you're doing. You can, you can do it by yourself if you're out of a rig, but if you're in a rig, it takes you, the rig, and anything in it. All you do is hit F11 when you have your map out hit F11 it shows what rig you got you go over to your map you point where you want to go in this case I want to go right here well let me go in field 30 and you just click and there we are and it took uh, me and the oil everything with it so it's a time saver when you're recording and, oh, that's not where I wanted to go, is it? Where is that oil field? I missed it by a mile. Okay, I'm way in the wrong position. Thank God I've got this TARDIS. So, I'm going to click it again. And this time, I want to go up where the oil's at, which is up here. And there we are. A 
I should have uh, teleported to the other side of the tracks, I guess. But, like I say, I debated whether to use this. I use it uh, when I'm just playing by myself on a farm this size. But, anyway, it's going to save me on the recording quite a little bit. And like I say, it's kind of cheaty, but I'm not going to use it that often. I'm only going to use it if if it's something that I've got to go clear across the map like this. And it'd take me forever to get there. Now, I can obviously, it's not going to work with the train. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. And I'm not going to try it. But uh, but anyway, it, with, with this kind of thing, when I've got to go from one end of the map to the other, it'd take me, you know, 10 minutes to get there. Let's see, I want to go... That's, you got to be careful where you put yourself. You don't want to put yourself in a building. So I'm going to go right there. So we almost had a, well, a little over three quarters of a tank of crude before nighttime. Alright, we'll let that go. And uh, it's going to be getting daytime here pretty quick. The other thing I wanted to try has to do... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, again, I mentioned Joe Dokes a little earlier. He's one of my subscribers. He's been sending me a lot of uh, suggestions on equipment. And he sent me in this direction for this uh, cultivator. Now the cultivator I got, I've been uh, I like a lot. I've been using it a while. It's called Sunflower, or something like that. But it's not very big. Oh shoot! There it was right there. As you can see, it's not very big. It's only about. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure what it is. Let's take a look. What are we on? Thirty-five. Deal 35. Cultivate. It's only 19 by 5 meters. 19 and a half meters is all it is. Uh, which is not bad. But that one up there, the new one that Joe sent me. Now, I haven't used it yet. But it's like 36. It's over 36 meters. So, that's going to help out on a field this big. Whoa, 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 whoa. tractor's got too much power now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it out here about in the middle somewhere and get this thing started see if we can't quicken this job up a little bit and let's see I want to do um, where are we at field work Field 35, cultivate. Uh, oh, I need to do a new one. This isn't going to work. Yeah, I need to do a new one. Okay, northwest heading south. Um, hang on. We need to generate a new course. Field 35. Northwest heading south. Two of those. Thirty six point four times two. Enter that. Now that should. That should be okay. All right, let's drop this thing. And 
Now, it does fold up. It doesn't quite come together like I thought it should, but let's see. I'll show you. It folds up, but it doesn't quite come all the way together. Well, it's pretty close, but not quite. But it's still about as wide as the tractor that's pulling it, so that's okay. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing to work. Drop her down. Drive the course. Hey, I picked it pretty close. Oh, he's slow. Oh, man, I didn't think about that. Oh, I'm going to have to mod this thing. Yeah. It only does 12 miles per hour. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to mod that. I can't. That's too slow. All right, so let's get this guy going. Beat guy. Drive the course. What else have we got out there? Let's see, what was he doing? I have no idea what I was doing with this tanker. Oh, I was picking up silage. I remember that. But I've got to get it dropped off somewhere. Um, I don't quite know where this is stored. We can put it in the mixing station. Not quite sure where to store this stuff. It's grass silage right here. I just gotta find the trigger. So by the time you see this, you've probably already seen the uh, Australia map that I was looking at. I still haven't decided <laughs> whether to record that or not. Uh, I'm definitely going to play the map. It looks fun. But I don't know if I'm going to start recording it. Let me know what you think if you want to see me record it. It's not like I it's not like I need another map to play, but I'm going to play it anyway. If you want me to record it, just let me know. Just give me a suggestion. One or two of you if if several of you want me to play it and record it, then I'll start recording it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be playing it anyway. So if you want me to play it and record it, just let me know. And the reason why I'm asking, well, I know that it's a 16 by map. And there's a lot of people whose computers aren't going to run it very well. So if you want to see it played, it didn't seem to bother my computer much. Somebody suggested I pick up the uh, grass that was on the end here instead of rolling it like I did. I tried, and I couldn't pick it up. I would have had to get a uh, a front end loader, and I hate doing that. It that takes a long time, and I like things easy, so I just rolled it up. There wasn't that much there that it would have made any difference in the amount of uh, grass that I'm getting. I got more grass than I know what to do with. I don't need to take the time to scrape it up off the ground. All right, I can do this later. Let me jump out here and check on the beat guy. I think he's done. Okay, now, one of the other things I wanted to check, and it's getting dark, I did... What's this guy doing? He's got canola in him, and I couldn't figure out which which uh, train car it was. Let me go back.
And I think that I took... I took one train car off of each train. So they're one car shorter. Pretty sure. It was causing a little bit of trouble on that train that I had at home. At the uh, main farm. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing a trigger. I did this last time. And I kept looking away from the icon and never saw it. I, it was probably there and I just didn't see it. Yeah, see that TARDIS thing. There's no way I'm going to try it on a train. I don't know, know if it'd work. I doubt if it... Oh, there, there, there. I doubt if it would. Uh, but can you imagine the mess it would be if I uh, did that and missed a track? I don't think it would work. So I don't think it would matter. But that wouldn't be a good thing. That would not be a good thing. Hey, oh, I'm picking stuff up. Oh, I don't want to pick it up. I want to drop it off. Good to know that I can, though. Okay, we're going to get this guy back to the farm. Losing our daylight here. I should have counted the cars, and I didn't. I just went in and took one out. Oh, there it goes. When we get there, it's going to be uh, morning. Whee! Down slope. I love it. And it's daytime. Isn't that sweet? 6.10 in the morning. Time for breakfast. Make me a sausage burrito. Sausage egg. Breakfast burrito. I love those things. I don't make them very well, but I love them. Looks like we got a little bit of rain in our forecast. <clears throat> Not for today. It must be for tomorrow. Better slow down. Get close to the farm. Of course, I didn't want to go to the farm. Did I? Yeah. All right, stop. 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 Come on. I didn't start stopping quick enough. I did. E I did uh, increase the brakes a little bit too. I don't want to go overboard. Then it messes the game up. You know that old saying that, you know, more is better isn't necessarily true. I can vouch for that. There's been times where. I've been cooking and I like a certain kind of spice or a certain ingredient. So I put more in and then uh, it doesn't taste the same and there's something wrong with it. And you think, well, I thought more would be better, but it wasn't. Okay, let me see if I, oh, I can't get by here. Let me get around. No, all the way around, all the way around. There we go. I took a train, a car off and I think I can tell by, uh, or two, train car two. Maybe I took more than I thought. Because I think it came back before, clear back to this thing. Well, anyway, let's move on. Uh, the other thing I wanted to try was I was told, because I've never been 
much of the uh, logging. You guys that have watched me know I actually didn't like it at all. I, I thought the logging part of the game was just not right. I kept thinking, if you want to make a logging game, make a logging game. It's a farming game. Well, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I didn't know how to use these things. I didn't even know how to use that. I didn't know, I didn't know that crane up there even worked until I accidentally ran up those stairs and was able to jump in that thing over there. And that was only in one of these episodes on this. So the whole time the game's been out, I didn't know that that worked because I don't log. Well, I also did not know that there were straps on the railroad cars. And you saw what happened to my logs. Now, the only thing they told me was, um, and, I, and I, I don't recall who it was that told me, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode who it was. Um, they told me you had to do it from the outside. So you had to be outside the train to put the straps on. So I wanted to try it. Let me uh, unstrap these. And I want to do some more logging, but uh, I wanted to try this first. Might be easier to actually do the... Uh, the crane thing with more logs on the truck than I have on there, but I'm going to give it a try even if some of them fall off. Alright, so how did I get on there before? How did he get in there? by pushing the button. Okay, so now if I can remember how this thing works. That's up and down, that's sideways, there we go. Alright, so I gotta get this thing kind of in the center. And it looks like the truck those bars on the truck are kinda in the way, aren't they? All right, let me see if I can get around it. Now we need to open them up. And make sure we're... Over this. Uh-oh, I think I hit the bars. Now, I don't want to pick up the trailer. I just want the logs. Oh, I have the trailer. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, let me lift it. Up a little bit. Well, that's not working very well, is it? Now you know why I don't log. It's just hard. I don't like it. I'm not very good at it. Alright, let me look. I can go down some more. Just don't grab the trailer. Did I miss the trailer that time? I think I did, but then I'm going... Dang it! Where's the up and down? There. Oh, no! Oh, I'm losing them! Let's see if I can get this on a train car. Um, 
Oh, I'm not even close. Go back, go back, go back. Alright, now down. Am I in? Okay, I only missed that one little spindly one over there. I'm not going to worry about it. Let me see if I can get this done. Let me jump out of this thing. And, uh... Into the truck. Man, this time-consuming stuff. No, I don't want to be in a truck. Sorry. How do you do these straps now? Let's see. Uh, yeah, like I said at the first of the episode, I'm going to try... I was trying to... To fix a few things that I was a little bit uh, ignorant about. Now, all right, so what? Well, I can grab the logs, but I don't want to do that. How do you put the straps on? Okay, somebody told me you did it, but they didn't tell me how. Um... Get on the other side, I don't know. To do it from the outside, but is there something I'm missing? Cause nothing pops up on that. Toggle the light? What light? That's my, my flashlight. Or I don't see anything pop up except for my hand to do that. Huh. Well, shoot. Alright, worst case scenario, I could Google it, I guess. But see, there's nothing that says anything about putting straps on. Bass and belt. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. You just have to be in the right position. Okay. So it's the R. There we go. Oh, do you have to do it on each thing? Is that what you have to do? Maybe. Okay. So I'm going to have to slow my walking down. There it is. All right. I got it. I got it. Well, that makes sense, because this is what you'd have to do. Okay, now does that get everything, I hope? All right, hey, there we go. I love it when the plan comes together. Where's the train? There it is. Locomotive, I should say. All right, hang on. We're going. Put your Sunday best on. We're going to Sears. Now, I know this isn't much of a load, but you know what? It looks like the faster route would be to go south. Hang on. Let me slam the brakes on about 20 times here. Come on. Come on. Stop. All right, there we go. Let's get this thing in full gear. Oh, now it's the range popping up for today. Great. Well, that's okay. In everyone's life, a little rain must fall. So, whoa, that's a tight turn. So we're taking a little bit of time doing some of this stuff. There's one more thing I want to find out about that I've had trouble with in uh, previous episodes. Well, probably more than one. <laughs> but one that I can think of. And we'll look at that in a minute when we get this one figured out. Though, actually, there's two more. One is, I don't know what to do with the logs at the uh, 
at the sawmill because the last time I actually sold the logs, I didn't want to sell them. I wanted to get them in that pallet maker and I hit the wrong thing. So, and I didn't have the, if you remember, I had to reload the game. I told you because I, I lost my maps and stuff, my save games. And I got them back, but I had to reload the game. When I did that, I turned the uh, console commands off. So I had to go back in and do that. And last, in that episode that I was looking for the trigger, I couldn't find it because I didn't have the console commands. Uh, since then, I've reinstalled the console commands, so I should be able to find the triggers to figure out where to drop that. Those logs. We'll see when we get there. That was one thing. The other thing was the great demand for the potatoes. That still has me stumped. And I want to try something with that. That was the other thing that had me stumped. Because I had a great demand for tomatoes, which I lost my ass on, money-wise. And I think I sold them at the wrong place. But I couldn't see the right place, because the place that was highlighted was just some tanks. Well, why would you deliver potatoes to, to a tank? You know, like a gas tank? It didn't make any sense to me. Unless they're making fuel out of potatoes, I don't know. Yep, I hit the wrong thing. Slow down, slow down. I didn't realize that was that close. This happens a lot, by the way. Especially since I made the train go so fast. Right there's what I'm talking about. Where's the trigger to drop those to make pallets and stuff? Because I didn't hit it. Well, anyway, the logs got here just fine. So there you go. So I want to figure out, and I don't know if I'm going to take time to do it right now, but this this is a production uh, thing here. So logs produces boards. Where do you drop the logs off? Right here? Maybe? Right there? Is that where they go? And if so, how do they get there? Do you have to take them off there and put them there? That'd be my guess. But see, I, dro I dropped logs here before and it just sold them for me. It didn't... That's not what I wanted. So, as you see, there's... Well, it's not very readily apparent, is it? Not really. There's a trigger box right there. I thought. No, that's for the conveyor belt. Huh. Yeah, that's for the conveyor belt. I thought that's where I dropped them. And then there's uh, another one over here. Wood chips. This is a wood chip thing. How many chips can a wood chip chip? Well, shoot. I don't want to mess with it, I think. I think I'll wait and figure it out. I don't know. I don't waste my logs.
I think I'm going to wait till I have more logs to, to mess with. I just wanted to see if the straps worked for now. So let me jump out. I'm wasting time. Um, let me go around and see what I need to do on the farm here. Now that it's a new day. These guys are done, right? You guys done? I think so. Okay, this guy, he's done. Let's run around and see if our oil has produced. That car, though. Look at road rage. This guy's gonna get road rage on me. I wish you could bump him, but you can't. I wanna run him off the road. Let's see what we get. Now, my theory was that they ran all night. All right, so we got the same amount this morning as we got last night just before uh, the end of the day. So I'm just, I, I'm just trying to figure out when, how long does it take for them to get that amount? Is it a day? If I come back five minutes from now, is there going to be another 20,000 in there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to gather what I've got here and move on. Get enough for a train load. Ow, I hit the railroad train. Crossing thing in the bob barricade. Whatever it was, I hit it. Whee! Alright, can I pick up from this side without switching sides? I sure can. Cool beans. Where'd that hose come from? Out of the side. Oh, sweet. Alright. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Where did that go? Where's that going? Where did... What? Where's it trying to go? Back to that one? That's funny. That's funny. We got quite a bit of crude out of that. That was hilarious. Look, it's still trying to go back there. Not getting anything, but it's trying. All right. Now this is about the amount that I got before out of all three so pull the map up let's hit the TARDIS and let's see let's go right about there oh shoot almost put myself in a tree see that's why I tell you, you gotta watch what you're doing make sure you if you use this you're in an open field or an open area all right, I'm getting nothing out of this. Why has this one got nothing? That's weird. This one has nothing in it. Huh. Strange. Oh, well. I got about what I got the last time, 75%. Uh, uh oh, don't do that. Hit F11. And 
And let's see, where was I at? Up here, right there, right there. Now I had to go in on steam, because I use steam when I put TARDIS in and hit F11, because F11 is the button that you push on steam to take a screenshot. Well, I never take steam screenshots so the only time I've ever taken a steam screenshot is by accident by hitting F11 for something else and getting a that yeah, and, and then I have to go in and delete them so I went in and told uh, steam I didn't want to use an F11 to do a screenshot all right let's let that guy empty yeah, we don't have a train over here. So, we can't pick this crude up till we get a train over here. And I got other things to do, I guess. I suppose. Eh, we got some in there. Alright, let's run around and see. Uh, first of all, did I get seating done? I didn't because those guys were still working on field 35. And I just finished field uh, 49 right so I don't I don't have anything seated that I know of okay so growth patterns uh, 35 there's nothing seated on. oh darn it well it just says it's plowed that's not what I wanted uh, 50 40 49 is not they're not so none of my fields are seated so I need to finish cultivating. Let's put him back to work. Mow grass train field. What? This isn't the train field. This is not the train field. What? Where am I? Um. Uh, you go down the train field. I I think I finished mowing the train field and I was heading back up that way. Right, I was because that that hadn't been mowed. It had been mowed previously and not picked up. The field behind me is what I'm talking about. I keep uh, thinking that one of these days I'm going to drive over another log that I lost. Because I don't think I got them all. When I went around and picked up logs that fell off the train. Okay, let's put this thing down. Getting back to work. All right. Run around, see what else we got. Let's see, what's that got on him? That's got a cedar on him, but I don't think... Yeah, these need to be cultivated. So, let me think about this. Uh, I've got that other cultivator over there. I've got to grab it, I guess. We've got two out on 35. Field 35. Let's grab this guy. And head out to... Uh, deal 50. So, let's see. I got a transportation course. Now, I, remember I told you that I have that TARDIS? I could I could instantly go there, but I'm, I'm going to try to use that as infrequently as I can because it really is kind of cheaty. Um, I have a course to get from here to field 50. It's not that far. So, I'm going to use the course... Now, some of you may be thinking, well, that's cheating too. Well, no, it isn't. I'm a big farmer with big farm, and I have hired hands. I'm going to hire a hired hand to drive this tractor over to that field. That's not cheating. That, oh, God, that was weird. It scared the hell out of me. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah, let me do that. So I'm gonna grab that course. And... Uh, main farm to field 50. That's it right there. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna send this guy over. And I'm gonna call it an episode here. Hope you had fun. Give it a like if you did. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. And when we get back, we'll continue farming. Got a lot of stuff to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was close. Alright, I'm gonna go. See you guys later. Happy farming.